Welcome to the video supplement for McGraw-Hill's Medical Simulation. For today's scenario, I cannot get any air. Our patient is Billy Weezer, who is 13 years old and has a history of chronic asthma. Today's simulation objective involves auscultating the breath sounds. Your simulation goals should include checking respiratory rate and accurately recording your findings. Along with the essential clinical skills, your instructors will be looking for the mandatory cleaning of your stethoscope, washing your hands, wearing your gloves, and demonstrating a proper introduction to your patient, including checking the patient name and birthday on the ID bracelet with that on the medical records. Now let's join our healthcare professional, Rebecca, and her student, Holly, as they check a patient's respiratory rate. In today's scenario, Holly, we're gonna be taking care of Billy Weezer. He's 13 years old, he's asthmatic, and he has a pulse rate of 142. I'd like for you to introduce yourself to the patient. Hi, Billy, my name's Holly, and I'm a student. And this is my instructor, Rebecca, and we are going to be checking your respiratory rates today. How are you feeling? I cannot get in the air. Don't worry, we're gonna take great care of you. And then this is where I would confirm identity by checking the information on his bracelet to my medical records. Today's essential skill will be checking respiratory rate. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You need to watch our clock with a second hand. Go ahead and put your earbuds on, make sure they're clean. And we have our gloves on already. Now we're gonna take the stethoscope, place it over the apex of the lung, and listen for the respirations, which is one inspiration and one expiration. Now we're gonna take a second hand of our watch and listen for 30 seconds. Okay, and that was 16. So multiply that by two and you get 32, and that is the respiratory rate. In assessing a patient's respiratory rate, I would start by making sure my earbuds are clean and we have our gloves on. I'm gonna put it on. And I'm going to place the stethoscope on the apex of the lung and watch for 30 seconds. Okay, that was 16. So one inspiration plus one expiration equals one respiration. So we take that, multiply it by two, and to get a respiration of 32. If the stethoscope is not available, or if you find yourself in an emergency situation. So you can also assess the respiratory rate by watching the chest rise and fall. Count for 30 seconds, multiply that by two, and you get, can also get the respiratory rate that way. Go ahead and make that notation on your clipboard. And that was a really good job, Holly. And that's how you take a respiratory rate on a Lairdal simulator. Thanks for watching and we look forward to your success in this demonstration. I'm Lauren Corbett from McGraw-Hills Medical Simulation Work Text.